Hi, my name is Steph. If you'd like to come on in and have a seat for some symbolic support, we're going to scry some scrolls today for shapes and symbols that may stand out and speak to our psyche and psychic senses. We've also got Mr. Paranormal Plasma here with Ghost Tube kicking for any audio additions that may further inspire or irritate. Please do receive a release freely, but allowing a space for the supernatural Companion. to speak. And we'll also add on Terran Oracle along the way. So whether you're returning, recurring, or new, thank you so much for being here. And may you meet a message with Mimi. Let's go. All right. Here are the scrolls that came out as I also had some insights come in. I'll get to those in a minute, but you know the drill. Please see, sense, and feel for yourself if anything is stepping forward. Feel well to comment. Drop an emoji. Give it a Rachel. heart. Whatever the case may be. I appreciate any interactions. I'm going to open up. Starting to gaze to gain. Okay, I'm jumping right in. I've stuck the landing. Stuck the landing. You know, like gymnastics or tumbling. Well, one of one of the same. I don't whatever. Okay, so gymnastics or tumbling, and then the you know they do all the hooty 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 hoos, and then they stick the landing. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! One. Okay. So this is bringing me into the elixir of notes that came through of empathic energy. It was like a check-in. I've stuck the landing on something because in all, it's like moving from t being a tumbler to a skilled gymnast and the amount of time it may take. And when I wander into time, I specifically, like when I think of linearity of time, let's say, is that's what we have to work with. Uh, and it came up in a member's message. Her. But, you know, kind of moving through the physical time, maybe it was weeks, months, years, to the psych psychological time. And there's something about gaining skill set and momentum. Empathically speaking, this feels like more specifically, but again, please place it where it feels well for you. It, working around my language, it feels as though like some sort of elixir is being made so I can check in with where maybe certain parts of me are still in tumble mode, gymnast mode, balance beam. I don't know why it's all coming through in these, like the bars, swinging things, uh, leaping. But nonetheless, what's coming in is you're sticking the landing. Yeah. Okay. So some other things that came through was off planet. Not really sure where. Under your spell. And there was a woman with Madison. shoulder length ish, light brown, sandy hair. And she was either wearing an orange shirt or a green shirt, an orange hat or a green hat. I can't remember. The point being is she was sitting when I was getting ready to open my bottom right. Like, so maybe like right about here. And she was able to see or I was watching her see the whole screen of what I was seeing. So I don't know if this is a friend. It feels, like, it felt like a friend, a friendly frequency. And the colors orange and green might mean something. But she was like watching the movie of what I was seeing. And then over here, I heard and get your shit and go. I don't know if that's in relation to someone or something. I'm going to come back. Okay. Sticking the landing. I feel quite proud of myself here. I feel as though there's still something I'm moving through. It's almost as if, you know, when like you see a plane, but you, you see it and then you hear it or, or vice versa. Forgive me. There might be something through the time, at least the way I'm receiving it is looking at the scope of time, ex the expected time versus where you are very presently and maybe like the psychology time is catching up or vice versa because I don't think someone's giving themselves quite enough credit because it's like putting this whole gymnast what are those things called choreographed I don't like it yeah maybe it's not the right word you know uh, uh, I don't know. I really don't know what it's called, but like you're putting, you're designing being on stage, whatever this is, or on the mat and you're putting pieces together. So it's your own. I really apologize while I'm here. Limitly, I can't figure it out. Designing that together. 
like with all the that's the energetic uh, empathic kind of elixir that's coming together so it's like your presentation of whatever channel this is personal professional corporate creative romantic platonic is truly yours and you you can stick the landing and practice practice I want to say practice makes perfect as Stephanie but really practice is the practice of the mastery something along that lines okay so sorry I'm coming back to this lady down here and you know like when we were kids or even if you can imagine all like the, these tots on stage and there's the teacher like below the stage that's like trying to guide them through the play or whatever they're presenting. That's how I'm seeing her. And this isn't to diminish anyone saying, you know, well, I'm not a taught or useful in certain areas. The point is, is it feels like play, have fun playing and learning like not this it's not choreographed like it is, but there's all this room to really have it personalized in your own energy. I don't know how else to say that. Like she wants me to have fun with what I'm seeing. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. So as I can see her seeing my, my movie of what I'm Impressed. seeing. Impressed. She is asking me because she's now seeing also me, Why but I'm here? seeing the audience. That's a roundabout way, but there we go. So it's like she's focused on what I'm seeing because she knows like I'm maybe I'm stuck on the audience or the sea of people, the attention, the at and, okay, the attention, the attention, because it's all like shadowy, right? Like if you when the spotlight is maybe on you but the audience becomes shadowy. So it's like this sea of just shadows, but you know, there's a lot of people I'm being brought back to off planet. So in some cases you might have energy elixirs that they're here. So now they're on planet. They're not outside of that, but you might bring a little something, something to, to the play or your presentation to your, gymnastics thing I don't know whatever it is that you're doing and you're like I I because I'm hearing like pleasing the people am I pleasing the people did I feel worried did so, they did they get what they paid for or their t uh, appreciation for their time and attention for being there and I'm hearing like don't worry about that because they're also against like the teacher and everyone's observing from their point of view to receive or release freely. Of course, I feel like I'm all over the place anyway. So she's fantastic. Um, it's like being a director, but you don't have to be on site all the time. There's like the spiritual director there. Cause then I have like these backup dancers. I think they're called backup dancers. And again, it's like ending a dance and it's like, cha -cha. You know, like I feel like I'm seeing that I've stuck the landing of some sort of practice and practicing. And I have stuck the landing. Uh, this is reminding me of cheerleaders. And as soon as I acknowledge that, it's bringing me back to off planet. Now, this feels like I might have what we would consider an audience that is off planet. Now, that doesn't mean that they are off planet Earth. It's almost like dimensionally, they might exist a little differently. Pray. Or literally from another planet, same universe. Okay. So the audience, something about under your spell under your spell maybe in, in regards to the audience I feel like I'm huffing and puffing when I'm here and I'm huffing and puffing when I'm here isn't that interesting just in the relationship but then I want to come on over here to the to the solar chakra I care I feel like I might have like bulldozed my way through some things specifically when I hear this I'm seeing the the horse you know the gymnast thing the horse I'm going to wander into, sorry, empaths. I hope you're still here with me. That was a little bit of a rigmarole to work through, but hopefully you've uh, stuck with it. <laughs> stuck.
stuck with it and know that really I am the audience of you and it's so gr I'm so grateful for that far away so we have here scrying projection astrology destiny see when you say far away I come back to that off planet because even though it's okay it's like the time thing again psychology time or blah, 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 clock time but then I kind of wander into space and the essence of that the, the, the conductivity, conducting something. And it's like all these orbs that you might be connected to that are being represented by different familias, different frequencies, they come to watch you project out into the world. Like, like an old movie, like, like the projector you know, 80s, 90s style, projecting out. This isn't a bad thing. This is like projecting a movie. It's such a beautiful thing. I hear I'm very grateful. I'm very, very grateful. And if there's like a heckler, even if that's within myself, I, that's when I come into and get your shit and go. Because that's the freedom. No one's forcing you to, or anyone in your audience to be there. Whatever this audience is, but I feel like it might even just be an audience of your energy. You know what I mean? Sometimes your your light, as they call it, or your personality, whatever traits that you're tumbling around with, like tumbling crystals and rocks, and they become smooth over time. But they got to go through a tumbling process for that to happen. That can be a lot of fun. That can be play. But not everyone maybe wants to see you smooth and shine. That's okay. And get How many? your shit and go. All right. So the card that came up here was past life activation. And maybe this is something that you know, like this door to your destiny and what you're projecting. It's almost like if I made this, this door is projecting out the reality all around with all these coalescing colors, because this is where I coalesce. I'm seeing somebody with really big teeth. It's almost like a Muppet. Uh, something specifically about their eyebrows, if they're like drawn on or ve just very elegant or something along that lines. Anyway, something about eyebrows and eyebrows also in the expression. So empaths or in the empathic energy within anyone that could be here feeling that and you could feel cool. that, I don't know, eyebrows are very expressing <laughs> like raising eyebrows but then also raising eyebrows, you know, I'm thinking or am I stinking? You know, I don't know. Past lives and off planet. It's all kind of coming together in this one op opportune. It's opportune energy because different things are happening at different times. This has already been finished, whatever this might be of your energy and you know it. But like you would know what it is, whether it's your emotions, your energy, earthly, ethereal, etc. This one feels like I've set the landing. Like they're both in a state of finished, but it's, it's more like take the shine, take the applause and the shine. This is where, uh, is it collective soul? Is there a, uh, sh shine? shine I don't know collective soul shine if I can remember I, can, I feel like I'm hearing a song but I can't hear it with my ears it's what you care about things that you care about that you want to be a part of your destiny again I don't I really don't know why it's coming through this way but it's, it's like I'm seeing all these gymnast things or maybe it's like Olympian stuff and there's all these different sections like you might be balance beam that horse thing and the swirly bars leaving or the thank you for being here or that ribbony thing the dance move obviously you can tell i'm unqualified but i'm here all the time so that's great this is about me playing it's like being in that that gym or the jungle gym to find out what's well, like well i enjoy them all but i'd really like to to harness more skills in this area basement you know i don't know if that's what makes me feel like it's almost like a, a curing your own curiosity. And there's like that spirit, that woman. 
She had light hair and there's orange in there. Maybe it's something about your sacral chakra. And I did see that fire was on the bottom at one point in time before you started shuffling. And it's kind of like listening to that director. I feel like they're like a divine director, spirit guide, or simply a friend. Simply a friend. And they're helping you bring about this. And like listening to what you what you want because now i'm hearing the spice girls so is it spice girls so tell me what you want what you really really i don't know i'm going to say spice girls but the point of being something about spice sacred spice i don't even know if that's a thing there's a listening and then a creating it's in your own elixir of what you're projecting out of energies all these energies coalescing and coming together And certain strengths, uh, Who it's is like, she? I understand it's a lotus, or at least I think so, but I'm actually seeing it as an onion. It's like if an onion and a lotus got together, it's the best of both worlds. But it takes time to, to bring like the onion of emotions and the, the lotus. I really hope I'm not putting ink on my face, but that's okay if I am, um, and the earthly onion and your emotions together and they become one. Okay. I'm going to flip these. Let's keep going here and we'll start to close out. If you see, sense, or feel anything in the flip. I am seeing somebody. Yeah. Thank you. Right in here. Uh, this card is the dream body. Oh, are some of you working on your dream body, dream destiny? There's something about size and scope, peripheral, peripheral. My nose is so itchy in this read. You know, those people, I don't mean like those people, uh, those artists, really, I think. I, I don't know if they're called acrobats. I apologize. I don't even know the skill set. But I feel like uh, maybe like Cirque du Soleil, but they do something specifically with like a ring and they're hanging and spinning. There might even be like a, a, I hear you. a ribbon thing. That's how I'm seeing this happen right now. And they're kind of just hanging out here. Spinning. Hmm. I want to come over here. Stilts. Now I'm I now I feel like I'm almost circus like. Makes me bigger, like the dream body. Gives me a different perspective. Okay. And like walking in heels or in stilts, it takes some time. It takes some time for that skill set. With the mythic sage. There's something about that. And we are in the year of the dragon, yes, correct? I'm reaching up for this. I am reaching up for what it is that I want because I want to put this dragon red moon right in this, what I'm seeing as a heart, the stilts. Oh, there's something else that I'm seeing. Hold on. I'm seeing a Grinch with a gun. Feel a little defensive. I'm also seeing, oh, what is this? Okay, when I say defensive, it also could be because these guys are playing. Is it hockey or lacrosse? Hockey or lacrosse? It's something with a stick. Thank you. You're welcome. It's something with a stick. A stick and a stone. I don't know. There's some sort of game. The empath energy. Okay, let's add on a few more. I hope you guys are doing well and your empathic energy is. Oh, oh. What happened? Chameleon. Perhaps there's some change afoot. And then cat. Like this even like looks like. Uh, like the Cirque du Soleil. Intuition. Like it feel and that fire. Thank you did come back. Now I feel like I'm a blooming onion. I've never had a blooming onion, but I do love me some onion rings, but. 
it's changing. It's changing. Your energy is changing. There's the green. There's the orange. Listen. I want it in a cheesy way. Listen to your heart. This is also bringing in spice. Don't be afraid to spice things up or be afraid if you're too spicy. Not everyone loves spicy food, right? And that's okay. So they just don't eat spicy food or they taste it and they're like, okay, maybe your energy is too spicy or one portion of your... I don't know, whatever the stage thing is. The falcon. Observation. See, that, again, I'm a C. It's like that's the person, that lady down here. And even though she felt small in relation to the way I was seeing her, because she was like tiny, like down here. You know, like when people make reels or shorts and then they add in a person like a little reacting, but just in the corner of the screen, that's what it was like. And she was able to see the whole screen. So even though I felt like she was smaller, I feel like maybe some of Tradition. us need to, to remember how big you are or the vision that you have. You're also being touched by something like this light. I think it's the intuition of it all. Your intuition of it all. Yeah, I'm, I feel pretty confident with that. Okay, I'm going to close out here with the tarot card. We have here death. Please go. Page of wands. We'll take one more. Thank you. And the six of cups. If these cards mean anything to you, you know the drill. Please see, sense, and feel for yourself first. As I tend to read the art. This is like that jungle gym. There's a lady with short ha hair down here. And there's, okay. And in this card, I think it's like an alien. Maybe that has something to do with the off planet. Like your lineage is your, the DNA is combined. And I don't need to get all, or at least in my efforts of wanting to possibly be like, how do I explain it? Because it's not off planet. It's all within you where you are in the plane you are now. That's, that's the important point. The point that brings me into, sorry, with the page of wands of what you're creating. It's like even choosing what jungle Jimmy things you're going to try, right? But you get to paint how you're going to design your dance around it. Again, the, this is Later very this symbolic. Evening. This is not literal. For the many versus the few, but there's something also about in the manifestation and the listening, but specifically in the manifestation with the page of wands and I'm seeing it like his paintbrush or staff, whatever you want to call it is lit up with the light, but the staff is dark. Still something about the audience is coming through that I can't quite seem to put my finger on in this empathic energy because it's like a sea of emotions. It's a sea of me seeing <laughs> the sea of souls. And then it's bringing me into that picture and forgive me, I don't know specifically who it's by or whatnot, but you know, like everyone has those it's black and white, I believe, and everyone has the 3D glasses on. And like the 3D glasses, one side How is red. Are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? One side is blue. So red and blue also might, it's bringing me into the vision. Like even in 3D existing, to see 3D, we need certain glasses or those color infusions. Some of, for some, it's also like ultraviolet vision or like the green light vision different shades of seeing anyway that's okay I don't need to constipate it but that's that's what I'm getting used to I'm coming back to this cheerleader popping in sad oh are you sad there's no need to be sad love we're here together and you know what though thank you because that just made me feel a certain way in that emotions of seeing the sea that sometimes when something's very moving and maybe you know people are weeping including yourself and that's sad but the it's because the maybe someone's life 
was so beautiful for you, was it touched a part of you. Drowned. And whatever story they may have been, been in. And perhaps you had somebody in your life that had drowned. And it's like watching the play of their life recurring. But even you have your own life and reflecting upon those, the psychological time, right? The memories. Melt. Of when you used to fall, fall and tumble and, and you know, hurt, hurt your pride or, you know, feel down and defeated and you got back up. And it's like looking at that and it's so touching. And I think that's really important as well to feel how you might touch other people's lives, even though you might never meet them in this audience of yours. And also at the same time, how there's, there are absolutely people in the afterlife that were once incarnate and now in, in the afterlife existing in the same dim plane, but I don't know, dimension, I don't know enough of the words to, to figure it out, but they are watching you and you are their audience. And they are also part of the audience. I'm sorry that I'm butchering this. Some of you also might be a pianist quite specifically. This is, you know, empathic artistry of the elixirs and allowing them all to be different and hold space for that. And not necessarily needing to masquerade around anything. See the emotions. Confused. I know, sorry. The emotions pouring out into this existence. You know what? I'm I'm gonna end with with this is the transformation of your empathic, energetic, emotional elixir is like the very paint on the brush. And you know those, uh, pages from when we were kids in some book and all you had to do is add water to the paintbrush and like the, the um, picture was already there. But in order for it to come to life and pop out of the page, pop out of the book. I don't like it. It was just water. Water was the only ingredient. And you feel like a falcon. Like, I mean, the feelings feel of a higher vibrational state. And maybe this is what's changing. So it can be a little odd and uncomfortable. Is that like the body's catching up or vice versa? But I want to come back to the beginning of you. You're sticking the landing. Ta-da. And for some, it's like there could be like this little mischievous kind of, I'm seeing like one of those thinned mustache, you know, typical villains, if I may. And it's like, oh. It's like I'm just looking back at them and I'm like, Oh, it's you. And not in this frivolous, you know, disregarding way to say like beneath me, you know, El whatever. This feels you're part of my onion and I, yeah. and I get you. I get you. I feel you. But get your shit and go. <laughs> I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so, so much for spending time with me. I will see you again soon. I'm going to get ready to start cycling through the signs. So that's always exciting. So we'll have that to look forward to coming up. Thank you.